Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity today. Um, my name is Major Kuchok, as you have just heard from Pip. Um, I'm a public health student at the Toronto University of Australia in Adelaide. I also sit on the board of uh, public health in the Northern Metropolitan Public Health Services as a consumer representative. Today I'm just going to be presenting a, a short overview of uh, how I perceive the health services being provided to the consumers and the patients in the state. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very thrilled to have been given this golden opportunity and I felt so much privileged to share my personal views based on the consumers and patient interests. My gratitude goes to the Health Consumers Council who have organized this golden opportunity for the consumers and patients to interact. As you know, you gain a lot of strength, courage, confidence, by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in your face. You are able to say to yourself, I have lived through this horror. I can take the next things that come along. In Harris' perspective, the fashion life lie in the hands of physicians and the nurses. God empowered human beings and gave human beings wisdom to transform and performed some tremendous work on the other fellow human beings when we are all unwell. The power of the modern medicines had made realistic changes in our today life, it's specifically to house consumers and patients. This is the blessings I would say physicians and nurses are nourished by God. As I've already mentioned, I sit on the Committee of the Public Health. My position was actually inspired and motivated by the way I look at the health care being offered to consumers and patients, which was not desirable. I realized that the patients and their families were not allowed to hear the views and share knowledge on the issues associated with the health care provision. I wish to see consideration of the consumer's perspective in the health care decision making. And also wanted to work toward the improvement of patient centered care in various health settings, where the health services provided were of the poor quality and not concerned about patient safety. As Australia has already diversified, there has been poor quality health care for people who have poor proficiency in language, specifically to the migrant who came from the other background who doesn't understand English. Less awareness and poor recall of the information. Therefore, people from an ethnic minority express less confidently with physicians and nurses. I have had many health consumers complaining about the poor patient doctor nurses interconnections in some of our state hospitals and clinics around Perth. And provision of the health services which they receive. I would say that was due to the LSK literacy in between the person who come as from the minor, minor, minority background who doesn't understand English. And I would say health literacy would have been put in place. And as the health literacy was defined, as the extent to which individuals hold the capability to the processes and understand basic information related to health care, which is required to make proper decisions, I would argue physicians and nurses can better improve the interconnections between patients' language, culture, health literacy, so that outcome for the health care of the culturally diversified patient would be improved. I suggest the health literacy could be promoted through public health promotion through and through physician nursing intervention by integrating culture 
health literacy language. Additionally, it is hard to understand the cumulative influence of differences in social status in patients, physicians' interaction. To improve the quality of the vulnerable patients, it was my wish to see valuable information being considered in such cases. My appointment of being the public health consumer representative member in the health department committee developed some meaning to me. I understood that the committee has seen me being worth representing consumers' perspective views and reporting the arise cases. The appointment meant that I was required to be accountable for the worries of the patients, consumers, and their families whereby I was required to interact freely with them and collect information associated with LSK services provision. I was to commit to, uh, to the committee's meetings and give reports concerning the different consumers' perspective. The appointment made me understood that there are gaps between the consumer's interests and the health care services offered, and the gap required to be closed. In order to see the quality services being offered to consumers, it would be advisable to the doctors, nurses, and any other professionals to execute and prioritize humanity before race, to exercise health professionalism before race, and diversify health services before race. In healthcare, I know we are patient-centered healthcare system, but for the public health system to function without any objections and resistance, then I wanted to see the nation's healthcare systems adopting diversified, centered healthcare system where everyone will feel included. Being a public health consumer representative, a virus role to play. Sorry, please. I am supposed to work toward the improvement of the health care through protecting the consumer's interests. I also bring the consumer's perspective to the committee, which should be considered in decision making. I also advocate for the wider South Sudanese community to get involved into the state health care where the decisions and the abuse will be heard by the stakeholders. It is my responsibility to support and ensure involvement of the consumers in their health system by allowing them to, the, to make the experience and be known by the health providers and in the health care setting management. I also wanted to work towards seeing the contribution of the consumers in the planning process, in the delivery, the evaluation of the LSK. Basically, evaluation is the most important thing in most aspect of the LS setting. And we need to evaluate, to evaluate everything that we do. I also have the responsibility to advising the health organizations like the health consumers councils on different health issues with considerations of the information. Joining a health community of other health consumers organizations mean being dedicated and committed to work for the health consumers. It means that I am ready to adhere to the rules and regulations followed in the community and being ready to assist in community goals and objective. I comprehend that I have to share all the information I collect from the health departments of my setting and share it with the other consumer representatives who might be in this room. And collectively work toward getting solution to various issues that affect the communities around Perth. It's also that mean that I have to participate in the focus group in a forum like this and have to collaborate with the other consumer representative in planning and making possible for the engagement as well as conducting community outreach. Lastly, it is my wish to see physicians, nurses, and other practitioners in the health sector and the entire Department of Health to prioritize the impact of culture, attitudes, 
beliefs, literacy skills, or patience on the uh, interactions with physician analysis. Previous empirical studies have also revealed the association between people from minority group and the quality of the health care they receive. The poor health literacy skills impact their communications with physician. Communication is the most important aspect of providing the health services to the vulnerable group. The major factor is the difference in race and culture that affect communication in health. Most of the people from ethnic background lack awareness about health services because of their attitudes and belief toward healthcare provision in Australia. Similarly, less emphasis on education in ethnic group is a result of it less important in their culture, which make cultural difference a main factor to healthcare communication disparities. Thank you very much.